All right, guys, this is another one on the HDX 68. Um, it's the we got the bypass, the brass pipe, the little tiny skinny restricted brass pipe, and so we went around that, and we've got a HPA connection hooked up with a master cylinder from Critical Situations, Jonathan Scott. He is uh, he was the first guy to ever do this type of a mod to this marker, the HDX. Back when we all dreamed about it, he was the one who went and made it happen. So this is just my way of connecting it. I went about a different way than him. Um, as you can see, he went. He's got his master cylinder chamber. It goes straight out from there. It's plugged right into there. I can do that, but I just have to remove a lot of the top. I might go that way after, but I'm exercising everything in between before that. I kind of like this way, but it does put, like before I had this, back there. So it does give me an extra inch out, but it's not bad. I mean, I'm not a short guy, but I'm not tall either, so it works perfect for me. Um, yeah, as you can see in there, we've got the master cylinder. I cut all that metal out there, and that's for different, I've been modding the shit out of this marker, so... It's just for different mods and different setups and stuff and now if you go about this ways you don't need to take all that out barely just take just take some of this just enough so that sticks out so all oh, this and this would be you don't have to cut all that away I got 1100 psi um last night I, I it was about three in the morning and I just I couldn't resist I put two can of riot balls in, or no, wait, first of all, before I did, actually, yeah, I'll tell you, I put the two riot balls in and I shot, I got the first one coming out at 470 FPS, a 10 gram ball, so that was like 102 joules, and then the second one went way, way down to like in the 60, but, um, yeah, um, what, I, what happened was, is this 90 degree elbow right there that you see, and the fitting where that thread's in well the thread goes in and it goes all the way down to the bottom um how do i explain it here like picture this thread going into the fitting like this it goes into the fitting and then it bottoms out so the air is just a little split crack so i went and tightened all the fittings up when I put this in and then it was restricted so I was only getting 38 joules with it and then I tried my power plenum 38 joules I tried both together 38 joules so I'm like something happened I'm restricted and I was thinking all night I couldn't think for the life of me what the fuck it was and then I was watching an old episode of 24 and then it popped in my head that I tightened all those fittings and I remember I had to modify them I had to cut them to make one of the threads shorter and shit just so I could get that angle so I could have it to come down and center because I was having a hard time. It was too high or too low So I had to modify one of the fittings and then yeah, so basically I just unscrewed it Three turns and then I grinded a little bit of the threads off and then now it allowed the air to pass so I'm about halfway up um, I would like to be a lot up I ordered two specific 90 degree angles So I'm gonna see if we can change this but then I can get the proper airflow because I'm only half open now, but I still got a big number last night. I just don't think that's true though. Like I don't think as is this is hitting a hundred joules. Because the second shot went but but it's not CO2. So my chronograph it's not reading a CO2 cloud. And if it does, it would just say air, air, air. Like sometimes a piece of Teflon will fly out and it'll read like nine hundred feet per second. But uh, that's not an actual reading. But with HPA, you don't get uh, clouds, CO2 clouds. So you don't get... My chronograph doesn't read anything. If anything, it'll just say an error. It won't give a reading for a number. But, uh, but it is odd, though, because those shots... Why would it go back down to where I'm used to at the 60 Joule area? So anyways, it's a mystery, but we're going to find out right now. <clears throat> See what happens. <clears throat> um, 
Okay, I started to 9.910. My leg's messed up still. Like, look, there's the chronograph. There's the 60 jewel shot right there. And then look, 470 FPS. That is, uh, here, can you guys see that? Yeah, see, 470 FPS. That was the first shot. So there's 359, that was shot two. That's what it went back down to with the power plenum. Once I opened up the fittings. There, 470, see, that was my first shot, man. That's crazy, that's 100 joules, 102 joules. Anyways, I'm gonna delete this string. Uh, see what we can get here. Oh yeah. Oh my god, my knee's messed up. <laughs> uh, okay. Safety. Whoops. I gotta change that. Jesus o ring. It's still the stock piece of shit o ring in there. Oh, I didn't have lube. Shit. Another thing. So yeah, we're around the 60 jewel mark, guys, constantly with this, uh... Master cylinder and, uh... My power plant on buffer tube. Okay, so I can definitely get a full uh, a full 16 shots out and we are just I must have shot like 8 I don't even know how many shots 18 shots and we're just under a thousand FPS or a thousand PSI left in the tank so yeah, we're not as open as the other. Ooh, here, let me degas this. <clears throat> yeah, so we're not as open as uh, all the other Umarex markers with the CO2 chamber. Uh, that's a lot more air because we, we wouldn't be getting that many shots. Well, it all depends, yes. It depends. I can't say that, man, because... Some of these you get 20 shots in, some you only get 15. It's weird, they're relatively the same size with the same pin, pretty much the same volume in the valves. Like I said, guys, no two Umex <laughs> guns shoot the same. But, um, yeah, guys, 60 joules, I'm just ecstatic with that. I'm going to put on the barrel tip. That should give us up to 70. Um, I'm actually going to grab two of them just for the hell of it, just for the testing of it. Um, I'm damn certain if we up this to 1200 or 1300 PSI, we're going to increase higher numbers even still, but, uh, I'm pretty much happy as is. Um, 56, hold on, let me just see something here. <clears throat> so... We're right up and around the 60 jewel mark. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, so 58, 56, 60 jewels, give or take, around that area. So that shot I took last night, that was definitely some very weird shot, man. That uh, 470 FPS. I don't know if that was the high or 356. Uh, I'm just estimating. We're right around there, so I'm I'm more than ecstatic. I don't want to go over 60 jewels because like that just brings on some crazy legal issues up in my country. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's enough power, definitely. That is because uh, I felt 38 jewels, and this is like 20 something higher. So yeah, I'm damn comfortable with that. But yeah, anyways, guys. Um, 
now that I got this locked down, this is actually, this is really easy to do. Um, the way I've done it myself, and the way I can do it so I can clean all that up so there's no big giant hole in there. It'll literally be just a hole. Look, can you see there? It's just that little bump right there sticking up. So you just got to make enough, cut enough material so that comes out. By the looks of it, you're going to be coming down to right about there. All right. So yeah, like right about, somewhere right about there. You're going to have to cut from there to like over, sorry, from like here to about right there. And that's it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, guys. Um, Y'all stay safe, take care, and have fun as always. <clears throat>